YouTube, what's going on? My name is Kevin, the Tech Ninja, and this is gonna be a different type of video. Number one, big shout out to Ash Taylor. He's actually the guy that's editing this video. Um, this month has been a really crazy month as far as like devices coming out and busy stuff going on. So Ash Taylor really stepped up to help me out with this video. So if you like this video, make sure you go to Ash Taylor's YouTube channel and like his channel, subscribe to it, all that stuff, because he is like my favorite YouTuber and he's like a really good person for really helping me out. And yeah, so let's get on with the video. All right guys, in this video today, we are talking about the boosted board and also rocket skates. Now I had a chance to try these guys out. Um, I've been using a service called Sprout Up and what it is, it lets people like me, YouTubers, influencers, try out products and really talk about them and get people engaged. Now I'm not an action sports type of dude, I'll be the first to admit it, but I've done things before. Like I went skiing before and I used to rollerblade and stuff like that. So, you know, I sort of felt like I have a pretty good sense of balance, um, especially when, you know, I've been playing sports my whole life. But, um, you know, the, the boosted board was one of those things that I was like scared to get on because what it is, it's really a skateboard you can stand on. And there's kind of a, a control module that you can control your speed. All right, so getting this thing set up was pretty simple. I just turned this on, I pressed the button on the remote and then it paired up in a couple of seconds. Um, I'm not sure what the battery life is on this thing or even the remote, but uh, so far so good. This also can show me the battery of the board. As you can see right here, we're at four out of the five bulbs. And so I can always keep in contact with the board and with the remote and connectivity as well. So, um, so far so good. Now it goes pretty fast. I think it said like 22 miles per hour, maybe 18 or something like that. And you can get on there and really push it. You go pretty fast on there. So what I did was before I just hopped on it, I actually went to a skate park and found a guy who was skating and I asked him, do you want to try it? So according to him, it's actually like a longboard. And when he got on it, he said it felt like a normal longboard. Like he just said he didn't feel anything was different about it. And then I explained to him like, hey, you can control the speed with this remote. And he got on it and he was loving this thing, man. He was riding around for at least 10 minutes and he just really enjoyed how it was. And he said it felt smooth. The, the board had the right amount of flex and everything. Um, now for me, um, I was still a little worried to get on, but I did hop on and I was sort of like going pretty slow. Now I was able to go straight, but when it comes to turning, I didn't feel comfortable cornering yet. But the booster board was one of those things that I was able to hop on and enjoy it. And by the time I was done with my review, probably about a week I had it, um, I was actually getting pretty good. Unfortunately, I don't have any video of me getting good. What a surprise. But, um, you know, I'll take it out every once in a while, I'll go to the mailbox and back or something. And um, it was just really cool. I, I really had a lot of fun with the boosted board. It does charge, you know, through the wall. And it did last um, throughout the duration of my review. So at least, at least an hour of riding, it, it lasted us. Uh, I'm not sure what the full battery life is. Uh, I really didn't get into specs too much. I just sort of got into the experience of using it. Um, and it was just, it was just a lot of fun. A lot of fun. And also if the battery does die, you can still skate on it without the battery. Um, so it, it's super cool. And I like having the function where I can pull this down to use it as a brake. Um, because if you're going too fast, you can then slow down gradually. So that's super dope, super fun. Had a lot of fun with the booster board. If you want more information about the booster board, there's a link down below. We can get the full specifications, pricing, and also a discount by using that link down below too. All right, guys, up next is the Rocket Skates. Um, this is the R8 editions of the Rocket Skates. Now what the Rocket Skates are, are, these skates that you put on in conjunction with your shoes. Like you have your shoes on and then you put the skate on and then you basically turn them on. They use Bluetooth to connect to each other and they use Bluetooth to connect to your phone. So you have this you know, three-way connection going on, but basically you turn the skates on and then you see the notification light up on the skates to let you know they're connected. Then you turn the phone on, go into the app and then connect to it. Now, I, I do have to be honest, I was using my Android phone and connecting to the app wasn't super simple. Sometimes it connects, sometimes it didn't connect. I tried a few different phones and it was just, Sometimes you had to really play with it, turn wide, turn Bluetooth off, turn Bluetooth on, that type of thing, and to really get it to fully connect. But once you got connected, you can then see the statistics of your skate as far as like what's going on, your battery life, um, and also like what mode it's in. Um, because you can go to beginner, which is the slowest mode possible, which I stayed in. You can do intermediate, which is a little faster than this professional, which takes off the restrictions completely and you're just ready to go. Now the way to start the, the boosted skates um, you basically do a kickstart. You slide your legs out and you kind of have your legs in this sort of formation. I'm not throwing up gang signs. This is a real formation. You hold your legs like that and what it does 
it uh, basically lets you go forward. And as long as you keep your legs apart, your lead skate always guides the follow skate. And that was tough for me. I, I have to be honest. Um, it was tough for me. And so I brought someone else who is into action sports a lot more than I am to try these out as well. And it was tough for it was tough for both of us. Now I started to get the hang of it a little bit my third day out, but at the end of the day, it was just not for me. It was just really tough to to use it. Um, and uh, you know they recommend learning on carpet. You know learning on different surfaces. Well, I have plush carpet, so I couldn't learn on there. So I actually had to learn outside. And I I fell a couple times. And it's not the fault of the skates. It's my fault because I don't know how to use them. But you know it's just for me it had a steeper learning curve than the booster board. But regardless, it was a lot of fun. We went out with the drone, had fun with the rocket skates, man. It's just, it was a good time. So if you're interested in the boosted boards or the rocket skates, the links are down below. And it's sort of just a little fun vlog type of video that I wanted to shoot with you guys to talk about what I've been using for the last couple weeks with Sprout Up and uh, how you can start getting started with Sprout Up if you want. If you're an influencer like me, you can go out to Sprout Up's website. Uh, sign up and you can request things to you. So um, as always guys, my name is Kevin the Tech Ninja. Big thanks to Ash Taylor for really editing this video. So Ash, I know you're editing my face right now. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you. And guys, uh, make sure you go to Ash's YouTube channel, subscribe, like his videos, comment. He's my favorite YouTuber, so he should be your favorite YouTuber. All right guys, have yourself a great day. And I'll holla at you guys later. Peace.